time Richard M. Niddle Jr., four time number one best selling and award winning author and poet. Today we're going to start something new um, called visual poetry, I would like to call it, I guess, because poetry does matter. Um, I'm going to be videotaping and narrating, narrating, narrating um, my poetry. Um, I really want to thank each and every one of you for what a wonderful year this has been. Going from no books to having six books out. In fact, behind me, uh, welcome to my home by the way, uh, is my wall of fame. Um, from the very first book, The Battle Lost, Writer's Birth, my very first number one book, which has been an epic poetry in the top ten at Amazon for the last year. It's, an, it's been incredible. And it's also a free download. Um, all the way over to uh, looking back, um, the latest book that just came out last week, um, which is a collection of all five books that I've had in the past and about 24 or 25 new, new pieces. And I really hope that you enjoy them. Um, today's piece we're going to do is, um, is called Why. Um, it's a question to the government about our veterans coming home homeless with nothing to eat, nowhere to sleep. Um, their families are gone, they have PTSD, and they're not getting the, the, the proper health care. I mean, they've served for our government, they've served for you and me for, in freedom's name. Why can't we serve them and help them out a little bit? So this is basically a question called, why? As he stood there, looking down at the enemy that just, he just beat and threw to the ground, it had happened so fast there wasn't even a sound except for the ones that were in his own head. The sounds from the war that he had fought in that's now over and gone, the same one that he saved all those lives of all those men, making him a hero, not to all, but to some. And as she lay there now bleeding from a beating she just took, from a man that she had married before the war had begun, she looked up and cowered, so afraid to make even a sound. The man right above her was not the same man that came home. She remembered the wedding with tears in her eyes. The man that just beat her had said for cheating and telling him lies. She tried to tell him very nicely that he was the only one, but anger and chaos was all that he now understood. The man was now lost to a war in his mind, for he was still killing the enemy behind their own lines. The war never ended for him or others that are just like him. You see, he stuck there inside himself and was diagnosed with what they call PTSD. With nowhere to run to and there's nowhere to hide. She never knew what had happened that day. The one that she took a beating but never lied. The day that she laid there bleeding. The day that she died. What she ever did wrong, she never did know. She never did lie to him. She only did love him. She only knew he was different after the war. Anger and sadness and dreams that were bad. She tried everything that she could to help him. She did know this, but asked herself, why? As she lay there bleeding, looking up to the sky, and as her eyes closed for the very last time, she whispered, please God, help me. Just take me. Can you just tell me what happened? Please tell me why. Why? That is what I'm asking our government today. Why? Why do we send these men and women to die in all of their made-up wars, to kill them to die for just all, the almighty dollar and oil and not much more? We take them and we train them to kill. They're still children, just turning 18 with no sound, like the video games that our small children have now found. And then we bring them back and they set them all free, fighting for freedom for you and me. Yet... They are homeless vets now with nothing to eat, fighting mental illness and living on the streets. Why? I ask you over and over again, why? And I will still ask you again and again, why? To a government 
that ignores me and our heroes of war? Why are they homeless? Why can't you house them? Why are they hungry? Why can't you feed them? You know, the children that were just 18 who you taught to kill, now going, they're living on the streets going insane. Why don't you help them like they did for you? Why won't you heal them? They did what you asked them to and nothing more. Our heroes who are dying by their own hands and more. Why do they deserve this, Mr. President? Why? Why, Mr. House of Representatives? Why? Why, Congressman? Why? So I will ask a little louder. Why are they being ignored? I ask you this again. Why? Why don't you hear us as we scream our silent scream? Please help us. Please no more. Signed, the men and women and families of the heroes of war. I myself have been diagnosed with PTSD. So this means, excuse me, this means a lot to me. Our government needs to do more. You may not agree with war, but those children, those men and women that were sent overseas, they're just like you and me. And they're taught and trained to kill, and now they're on our streets going insane. Does that not scare you? Our government needs to do something, and do something now. Every single vet that is trained and sent off to war is a hero. Not some, but all. Thank you very much. My name is Richard M. Niddle Jr. Again, a four-time number one best-selling, award-winning author, poet, peace activist, veteran, father, and a friend. Thank you.